Okay, this is a quick tutorial on a little bit more advanced animation. It's not super advanced, but it's complicated if you haven't used it before. Um, basically, I have a scene here, and I've got this spaceship, and I want to animate it. But you'll notice I'm in the director's chair right now. You'll see my camera, which is an inv kind of an invisible camera that you can tell where this kind of diamond shape is. You'll see that it looks like it's inside a building, and it's facing away from the city. Alright, so we render this here. You can see that I have a ship coming in here. And But let's say I want to have my camera facing the city and maybe look at the ship. Well, if I go up here, I can go to camera mode, and I'm going to have to pull out, and then maybe pan around to see where the ship is. Hmm. I don't see it. It could be that I'm facing the opposite way. So I can pull all the way through and turn to look the other way. Oh, and there is my ship. So let me pull out a little bit farther. So it's a little complicated getting the setup the first time. Alright, so let's render it just to see. So I have my space city and I have my spaceship and I want to do an animation. So what I can do is I can pull this spaceship across this way and you know actually let me go back a couple steps here before I actually bring it forward I want to bring my timeline out so that it's maybe out three seconds. Alright so I've got my timeline out here and now that I'm at the end of my timeline that's when I want to pull my ship out, and you'll see that it's connected by a a line. Okay, and want to make sure that it's kind of over enough that we can see what it is, and maybe down low enough that we get some neat effects. Hopefully, kind of depends. I just still I just mostly want to be able to see it. All right, so I've got my my spaceship right out here in the open, and let's just kind of render it and see what it looks like. Uh, too dark. Alright, so what we can do, just to kind of demonstrate this a little bit, I'm going to add a light that's kind of going to be up here. And I'll pull it forward so that it can illuminate. And down here you'll see that it's r almost above the spaceship right now so that we get this effect. <coughs> Alright, so anyway. I've got that, and if I was to click play, you see the spaceship flying in. And that's cool. And what I could do is I could actually have the spaceship fly right past us. Now when I view my spaceship, it kind of flies through and goes past. Now you may actually want that effect. However, let's say you wanted to get a little bit fancier. Let me go back to the director's chair for a second here and pull out. You'll see here's my camera. I can actually select my camera, and if I drag this little box here that says track object and connect it to the spaceship, when I click play, you'll see my camera follow the spaceship. Now here, it doesn't change at all. But if I go back over here to my camera view and I click play, you'll see it's a whole different effect. Alright, so you can have flybys, um, I mean, you can really get some neat effects with this. Let's do a fast preview. Nah, we don't really need to do that. Okay. Anyway, so, you know, play with that a little bit and um, have your objects track. Now, another thing that's kind of interesting, and I haven't really done this tutorial before, but, you know, here we have the camera that's tracking the object. And this is from the camera view, right here. I'm going to go back to my regular view so I can watch it. Okay. Now, one of the things, again, that's cool is at this point now, I can actually move my camera so that not only is it following the spaceship, but my camera itself is moving. 
All right, so from here, it doesn't look much different, but if I go back to my camera view and play, this is the kind of the effect you're going to get now. All right, so you can see you can get some, some really neat effects if you take some time. It, they're going to take some time to render because about 30 frames per second is what you need to render, and that can take all night. <laughs> so um, anyway, have fun with it, enjoy, and let me know what you're doing with it.